All right, to get started, I just added this 4K video to my timeline that's only 30 seconds long, and I'd like to reduce its massive 900 meg file size. To do this, let's begin by going down here to the Deliver tab. Over in the Render Settings, the first thing you could do is reduce the resolution. While it's an option, I don't really recommend doing this because you're going to lose the most quality. The better option is to change the automatic quality with this dropdown. There's quite a few different ones you can try, but to show the difference, let's go over to File Explorer where I exported this video at all its different quality settings. Of course the original is going to be the largest at 900 meg, but you'll notice even the best quality is actually quite a bit lower at 600 meg. The next copy was exported at the high setting and this cuts the size to half of that at just 300 meg. The high quality one is actually very acceptable, but I think we can go even lower. The medium video comes in at around 175 meg, and I'm still not seeing a huge difference when I'm viewing this from the high one. When we check out the next video at the lowest setting, I'm not noticing much of a difference when it's in motion, but if we pause it, there's some small details in her face that look a tiny bit fuzzier, but overall, it looks pretty close, and I think it's very acceptable. All right, finally, let's take a look at the least setting video. Once again, when it's in motion, I can't really tell too much of a difference, but when I pause it, I'm starting to notice some fuzziness around her abs and her legs. But if you really need to reduce the size, I don't think it's that big of a deal for such a fast moving video like this. But let's say you wanna go even lower than the least setting. Back in DaVinci Resolve's render panel, instead of automatic quality, select restrict to, and then I'll just set the KB per second to 10,000, which will put it about 5,000 under the least setting. Okay, right away, I can tell this isn't quite as good, and it's even more apparent when I pause it. There's quite a few artifacts near her abs and legs, and her face just looks a lot fuzzier. So for 4K 50 footage like this, I wouldn't really go down past the low setting. However, if you're working with 1080 footage or lower, you can definitely get away with a 10,000 bitrate and even experiment with lower ones like 5,000 or 7,500. But I wouldn't really go lower than 5K unless you're working with sub 1080p resolutions. But yeah, that's really it for this tutorial. I hope this gave you guys a better idea of how these different settings look. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.